again. I'm guessing that few of those watching this video are likely to be aware what a momentous decision has recently been reached at the International Botanical Congress held in Madrid. After lengthy discussion, and I mean lengthy, lasting six days, it was decided that plants like the coast cobble tree, seen in the thumbnail to this video, Latin name Erythrina capra, should be renamed. This is because the scientific name of this tree contains a racial slur. Now I very much doubt that any viewers would be able to guess the nature of this racial slur. Erythrina capra, spelt E-R-Y-T-H-R-I-N-A, Erythrina, and Cathra, C-A-F-F-R-A. Give up? Well, in South Africa, black people were, during the apartheid era, known colloquially as Kaffirs, and this word sounds similar. Kaffir, which is derived ultimately from the Muslim word kuffar, uh, for an unbeliever, was always considered derogatory. South Africa has accordingly been pressing the scientific word to stop using Latin names for plants which include the word Kaffra. I hope that's clear. You might think that the scientific world would tell South Africa to get lost and stop being so damn silly, but since the Black Lives Matter business a few years ago, we take this kind of thing very seriously. And so the whole system of Latin plant names is to be revised and purged of things which people in third world countries don't like. So Erythrina Afra will become Erythrina Afra. Afra sounding a bit like Africa instead of Afra, which sounds a bit like Kaffa. It will mean rewriting all our botany books, of course, but such is the mad spirit of the age that that's nothing at all. In the description to this video, I give a link to an article in the magazine Nature about this nonsense. Then too, there is an entire genus of plants, of flowering shrubs, called Hibertia. Well, that can't be right, because they're named after a man called George Hibbert, who died almost 200 years ago in 1837. Guess what? He was opposed to the abolition of slavery, so his name will have to be purged and removed and replaced by something else. That means that all those plants in the category of Hibertia will also need to be renamed. Now that this process has been agreed by the Nomenclature Committee of the Congress, they will be going through all the plants in the world, looking at the Latin name to see if they might called anybody a friend. I realise that this sounds like something which is completely implausible, so I suggest that readers click on that link and uh, read the piece in nature. There were some sensible folk at the Congress, such as a Brazilian guy called Alexandra Antonelli, who is Director of Science at Kew Gardens. He said that limited resources are better focused on cataloguing, studying and protecting biodiversity. But his is a lone voice. This is a fine opportunity for a witch hunt and I can't see anybody having the courage to laugh at this business and just call a halt to it. The process of renaming plants to avoid upsetting people has been going on informally for some years now and it leads to some pretty weird results. I buy niger seeds for goldfinches in the garden. These are little black seeds, hence the name niger, which is Latin for black. It also led to the word negro. Some black people objected a few years ago to the site of niger seeds for sale because the name niger, spelt N-I-G-E-R, reminded them of the so-called N-word. It looked a bit like it. Quite mad, but so sensitive are we these days to any fancied slight that people selling the seeds started labelling them Niger, spelt N-Y-J-E-R. 
The RSPB now sell the seed under this name, and I give a link to the Amazon listing for this peculiar usage. All because the name of a seed looks a bit like a racial slur. I think the expression is, is you couldn't make it up.